What you're about to see is a 500 second hot fire of a RS-25 engine. Uh, you're gonna see you know, beautiful steam cloud come up, a uh, little bit of tinge of fire around that exhaust, and the ground's gonna shake, and one of the coolest things you're gonna see in a long time. We'll be flowing propellant from the barge, from the liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen barges, through a piping system, into the run tanks, out of the run tanks, into the engine real time. And we're gathering data to make sure that the engine performs as, as it's supposed to, and some of the new hardware performs as, as it's supposed to as well. I still get uh, goosebumps and nervous stomach because you kind of know about all the things that could go wrong, don't expect them to go wrong, but that opportunity is always there. I grew up on the, on the banks of Industrial Canal across from Michoud, um, so knowing now all of the history that is associated with everything they've done at Michoud and everything that was done here at Stennis Space Center, uh, you know, take a lot of pride in it and just I never take any of that for granted. I'm very lucky to be able to work here every day. This is setting us up for the long term for Artemis and what that means for our nation, for the inspiration it's going to bring, you know, for Artemis launches for years and years and years to come as we go to the moon and beyond. Uh, just really exciting what, what the future holds.